The CUNY Academic Commons is an online academic social network for faculty, staff, and graduate students of the City University of New York. Designed to foster conversation, collaboration, and connections among the 23 individual colleges that make up the university system, the site, founded in 2009, has quickly grown as a hub for the CUNY community, serving to strengthen a growing group of digital scholars, teachers, and open source projects at the university. Let's take a brief tour of the Commons to learn more about different areas of the site. After you log into the Commons, you will be taken to the Home tab. This landing page provides a glimpse of what's happening on the site right now. You can see who's online, sort through groups and members, and view recent blog posts. From this page, you can easily access groups, people, and blog posts of interest. You'll probably see your name towards the top of who's online, so let's go ahead and click that, which will take you to your profile page. One of the great ways to connect to other like-minded colleagues on the Commons is to list your interests and surround them with brackets. That way, when you click on it, it will take you to a page with members who share the same interest. From the People tab, you can browse through over 2,500 members of the site or narrow down your search to your friends. You can sort these lists by last active, newest registered, or alphabetical. You can also use the search box to find a colleague by name, filter by college, role, or enter in an academic interest. For example, if I type in anthropology, I can connect with other members who list this interest on their profile. Now let's check out groups on the Commons. When you click on the Groups tab, you can see all of the public and private groups that have been formed on the Commons. Click on the Create a Group button to form a public, private, or hidden group. You can use a keyword search to find new groups to join. For example, if I type in Technology, we can see that there are 41 groups with the word Technology in the title. If a group is public, you can click on Join Group, and if it's a private group, you will need to request membership. Let's spend a little time looking at one of the public groups on the Commons to become more familiar with the group interface. The group page will list the group description and recent group activity. On the left-hand side of the page, you can access announcements, files, the group forum, group docs, and if the group has a blog, it will appear here as well. Group members can also send invites and change their email options in this area. Here you can see the group's forum, where members can discuss issues pertinent to the group. Now let's check out blogs on the Commons. The Blogs tab gives you access to all of the public blogs on the Commons. You can create a new blog by clicking on the Create a Site button. You can sort blogs by last active, newest, and alphabetical. You can also access all of your blogs by selecting My Sites. A keyword search is available as well, so let's go ahead and type in City Tech. And we can see that there are five sites related to this college. Selecting the Wiki tab will take you to the CUNY Commons Wiki, where you can create, edit, and browse Wiki pages. The Wiki is a collaborative space where all members of the Commons community can create and share resources. Be sure to check out the Category Cloud to access groups of pages associated with a category. We can see that there are a lot of help wiki pages because the word appears larger than the words around it. The News tab is a great place to go if you want to catch up on all the latest happenings on the Commons. You can view site-wide activity or narrow it down to your friends on the Commons, groups that you belong to, or items that you've marked as favorite. Additionally, there is a robust drop-down filter that allows you to narrow down your search even further. On the right side of the page, you can access the Commons Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus accounts. We also have an embedded RSS feed to the Commons News blog. This blog includes weekly roundup posts and other information about the Commons. The About tab provides information about the Commons. This includes our mission statement, contact information, and privacy policy. Lastly, there is the Help tab, which is available to members looking for help on the site. This section includes many links to helpful resources, such as the Codex and FAQs. Answers to such questions as how to change your password 
or how to create a group are typically found here. And if you can't find what you're looking for or come across a bug, you can always contact us by email. We hope that you found this walkthrough helpful and look forward to seeing you on the Commons.